So it's the next morning. I actually just slept for like 15 hours. <laughs> I was going to go for a quick nap and then try and edit some more video, but I just passed out, woke up once or twice. I actually had some stomach cramps, really painful, but I don't know if it's what I ate yesterday or something, but I feel not too bad. So we're going to go out. I think we're going to go up to the Golden Bridge today, but I'm going to see if I can rent a, <coughs> rent a moped because I think it's cheaper. I'm going to try and work that out and see what's what. So. So we just quickly stopped off, got some water and passed seat now. So hopefully that'll sort me out because I'm not really feeling the best. It, it, almost, it feels like I've got a hangover. I had like two pints yesterday, so that's not it. Um, so hopefully that makes me feel better. I found there's a motorbike rental place just down the road. So we'll go there, see how much it is. If it's too much, I'll just get a grab or something like that. Um, but hopefully it's kind of cheap. We can uh, go up to the Golden Bridge. We just picked up this absolute weapon 125 cc's of pure power off the banner hill now to see the golden bridge see you there and we're here at the banner hills gonna go up had to park my bike way at the bottom so i've got to walk halfway up this bloody hill but um gonna go up see what it's all about get the cable car up it's got the cable car has got a few world records like the longest cable car Longest single track cable car, uh, like longest, like the thing is on it, like the rope, like longest, like free hanging rope from point to point. It's got, it's got loads of world records, so should be pretty fun. This place is absolutely bouncing, but got my ticket. Going on to the cable car, and we'll see what it's got. But probably liking it down here. I'm not even at the cable car yet, but just here is really nice nice uh, water features and stuff like that and it's just a nice place to be <coughs> but it should be because I spent $850,000 on it so let's hope it's worth it Minutes to get up because it's the longest one, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty mad. So we made it to the top, <clears throat> didn't break or anything, so that's a good, good news. Let's see what the views are like. And there she is, it's busy up here, busy, busy. Yeah, decent views. In the clouds. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty stunning, no? God knows how they make that. Stunning. I just don't know how they do it, but got a couple of pictures and stuff. It's so busy that you kind of kind of getting. They're actually they're getting wedding photos and stuff, so don't really want to get in the way of people. But yeah, it's so nice. I just don't know how they do it. I don't know how they made that. Thing. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it's, I'm not gonna lie. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. In the picture, it looks massive, which it is big, but I thought it was gonna be a bit bigger. But. That is so cool. So now we're just going to go around and explore. There's the, I'm sure there's like a theme park or something up here. There's loads of little gardens you can go to, like from like around the world and that. There's a couple more big hands and that up here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we'll see what's about. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yeah, even when I could see the water, I had to take a wall and it feels like down there. And if you make a wish, it's going to come true. Yeah. Oh, how shy. Yeah. They do love a garden up in this place. There's several gardens everywhere. This is apparently the mythology garden. Don't know why, but hey ho. Lots to see up here. You've even got a big castle, but I mean, it's not quite Edinburgh Castle. No, I want to know if I can get to it. I need to try and figure that out. So we've seen the Golden Bridge. Now we're going to the next cable car. A bit of a queue, but the next cable car goes somewhere else. We'll leave it further up past this castle and stuff. So see what's up there. I have no idea what's up there. We'll soon find out. And we're in, so let's see where this leads us. <laughs> it's kind of cool up here. It's got like loads of famous stuff from around the world. It's almost like a universal from Wish.com. Not too sure why they were uh, they were building half of it when I was on the cable car, the big castle and stuff that's also getting built. So it was just a bit eerie, you know, a bit strange. That was a bit annoying. Now all the rides and stuff are shut at the moment. Uh, but check this out. This is pretty cool. Look at that. They love gold over here. Pretty cool feature. It normally has water coming out of it because it's supposed to be like a waterfall, but I guess it's shut with everything else. Reminds me of being back in Edinburgh in the old town. <laughs> well, I think I've seen everything I can see. It's, it's open. Oh. And then you can't really see the views because the, the clouds literally just rolled in. It was clear a minute ago. Yeah. So I think it's time to get back on the bike and go get something to eat. I was going to get something to eat up here, but it's expensive because they know you've got nowhere to go. Yeah. So, yeah. Go back now, get something to eat. So I got a cable car all to myself, but as you can see, the views are. Not very really good. The clouds just rolled in, but yeah, they're still building all this, so I don't really know what that's all about. I thought I could go in there, but I guess not. I'm absolutely blinded by all the clouds, all the way around 360. <laughs> no views whatsoever. Go on our way down and out of the clouds, and look at the views. Can't beat them. God, I love it. So that's that all done and dusted. Um, just gonna get on the bike now and go get some lunch because it's literally been 24 hours since I had something to eat because I just fell asleep last night and then didn't fancy anything this morning because I don't know, my stomach's been quite sore and I don't know if it's something I ate, but now I'm fine and uh, I'm starving. So let's go get something to eat. So kind of at lunch, found this wee place, just a wee bakery, so I've got a coffee and scones because my stomach's still I'm not eating a meal so yeah tuck and this now the what I'm doing for the rest of the day we'll soon see so we made it back to the hotel and um, after that coffee and bun still don't feel the best I don't just feel a bit sluggish and stuff so I think I'll just chill in here for a bit might nap and we'll see what's what might go out later uh, for something to eat uh, maybe a drink or two but okay Woke up, got changed. That was a longer nap than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I woke up starving, feeling much better. So we're going to go out and see what kind of food we can get. Um, I don't even know where to go, but I might go down to the Dragon Bridge because it looks nice at night. I'm sure there's a little, a little, uh, there's a lot of places down there. So we'll have a look. Well, this place comes alive at night. There's. <laughs> 
lights, bars, restaurants, everywhere. I'm right beside the the Dragon Bridge. It looks so cool. Apparently, on weekends and holidays, uh, um, at nine o'clock, it spits fire and water and stuff. But I'm not going to be here the weekend, unfortunately. But yeah, let's go see what we can find to eat. There's so many options down here. It must be like a kind of tourist place, like because it's right beside the bridge. So let's see what we can eat. We've just gone to this local Vietnamese restaurant and I'm actually, I am actually can not really see it but I'm actually looking right up on to the water on the second floor. Really nice place, really friendly people, so it's going to order up now. Right, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Well, that was pretty cool. I haven't just ate that like normal food, but uh, she showed me how to do it. It looks really, it looks really good. I've got the whole place to myself, it's just me. <laughs> so, yeah, we need this. And we'll go there and just have a wander about and see what's all. Dragon Bridge behind me. We've got these nice old lights walking out to it. It's really, really nice. I love this place how it just lights up at night. It's stunning to be honest. Look at that. And you see a full 360 of everywhere. It's so sick. But I think that's the end of tonight. I'll just go get an early night and we're up early and I'll drive to Hoi An tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to see if I can get the spinning boats and yeah, that'll be it. So I'll just end it there and we'll see you tomorrow.